Hello there Year 4s, it's Mr Conway here. Now for today's how-to guide, this is for your maths lesson today and it's about collecting data. So the actual task is this, um, we need to collect some new data today to work with. This needs to be something where there is a variety again so we have plenty of data to work with. You could take this challenge outside and collect data on how many different flowers you can see, insects you can find, or maybe something like the different front door colours in your street. Now what I am going to be using, and some of you might have spotted this, in, on my shelf in my classroom are my colourful dominoes, okay? So you, you just need to find an item where there's a variety, okay? So I'm going to be using dominoes because I've got different colours, okay? Now the task today is to actually create a tally chart. So now what I've done here, I'm going to flip this over. You need to create a tally chart to collect the data of whatever you are counting. And remember, I am counting my colourful dominoes to see how many different types of dominoes I have. On my tally chart, I really recommend that you do a similar layout, okay? You're going to have to split it into three columns. In your first column, you'll write down the colour or the size or whatever you're looking at. So I'm going to be looking at blue dominoes, green dominoes, yellow dominoes, and see if I can find one, black dominoes. This is what I'm going to be looking at today. I'm going to be writing a tally in my middle column, and I know you did this at the beginning of this week. And then in my final column, I'm going to write the digit of the total value, okay? So I'm going to model for you now how I would tackle this type of challenge. I'm going to have my dominoes ready in front of me. It's going to make a little bit of room. So all I'm going to do, I've got my dominoes. I'm going to take out one at a time, place it with the correct colour, and then I'm going to start my tally. So remember with a tally, it's little strokes, okay? We're going to do the numbers at the end. So I'm just going to do a random pick. The first one I have is a green. So I'm going to do a tally. I'm just going to put, I've got one green in there so far. Next, I've got a blue. So I'm going to do a tally for one in blue. I have another blue. I'm going to pile them up on top. So I've got two blues now. Remember, I'm not writing the number two. I'm using a tally system. And um, I've got another green. So I've now got two greens. Lucky dip. Now I've got a black, so I'm going to put a one tally for my black. Another green, which brings me up to three on my tally. Finally, a yellow, one for my yellow. Green again, gosh, they're very popular, the green ones in that jar. So I've now got four greens, two blues, one yellow, and one black. Let's see how, what else we've got in here. Another black, so I've now got two on my black. Another black, three. One more green. Now that brings my tally up to five. Now when we get to five in a tally, I don't do another stick. Why do I actually cross it like that? So this means there are five in total. I've got five, one, two, three, four, five green dominoes in total. So when you get to five, we put a line through it. So that's five lots there. Right, keep going. Yes, another green. It's a jumping green from the looks of it as well. So I'm gonna start a new tally. There, so this is now six. Five plus one is six. All right, blues off. Oh, fine, I was wondering when the blues were. There must be some yellows in there somewhere. Another blue. All right, so that brings me up to four for blue. Here are my yellows. Right, here we go. We've got two yellows. Another blue. Now, I'm not going to do five at the end. I'm going to cross that out to show I've got five blue dominoes. I'm going to keep them stacked up there. Right. Yet one more green, which brings me up to seven on my tally. Five and two is seven. A black, so I've got four for black. And another one, five for black. Oh, have you just seen what I've done? You see the marvelous mistake that I have just done? I have here five black dominoes, but what have I done to my tally? That's right. Because I've been going so quick, I've actually done one, two, three, four, five. When I should have crossed it out when it gets to four. So I'm going to cross that out out. That's a marvelous mistake. I've got five. So I need to put a cross through the four because that makes five. Right, so that's a marvelous mistake. So please be careful when you're doing this activity at home. All right, one more green, which brings me up to eight. A yellow for three. One more blue, which brings me to six. Yellow brings me to four. Another black, right, so now I'm on six for black. A yellow again is five. Cross it through. We're not going to make the same mouth as mistake again. One more black, which brings me to seven. I wonder which colour will have the most. Right, one more for blue. So the idea here, year fours, is definitely to do this activity one at a time. One item at a time. 
one more black. So if you did them all at the same time, it'd be very confusing. And another yellow. And this is why you use tallies for doing quick counting like this, so you can get an idea of how many, what the amount is of different varieties. And the variety we're using here is colours. So that was one more for black. Now that gives me ten blacks. Five and five is ten. And my last one is a blue. Right then. So now I've completed my tally, my next job is actually to write down the digital, uh, the digit for each of these values of tallies. So here we go to the blue, I've got 5, add 3, which gives me 8. For green I've got 5, plus 4, oh, that's my answer, plus 4, which gives me a total of 9. Next I've got 5, plus 1, 2, which gives me 7. And five, and another five, which gives me ten. So from looking at this data, I can clearly see that ten was the most I had, and the least was yellow with only seven. Now, make sure that you double-check your calculations here, because you will need this data for tomorrow's lesson. So it's very important that we get this right first time, okay, year fours? Now then, it's over to you. You can choose whatever, I've used dominoes, but you can choose whatever you want. I think the, the colours of different front doors on your street is quite a good idea, actually. But it's over to you. Do a table just like this, enjoy your tally charts, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video, where we're going to turn this data into a bar chart. Okay then, year fours, have a good day and bye-bye.